Perdana Menteri Israel Benjamin Netanyahu menuduh pengadilan kriminal internasional atau ICC bersikap antisemit. Hal ini merespons dikeluarkannya surat perintah untuk menangkap dirinya pada Kamis 21 November terkait kejahatan perang di Jalur Gaza. Dikutip dari Al Arabiya, Netanyahu menyebut keputusan ICC sebagai pengadilan Dreyfus modern. Istilah tersebut mengacu pada kasus Alfred Dreyfus pada abad ke-19 di mana seorang kapten tentara Yahudi dihukum secara keliru atas pengkhianatan di Perancis. Netanyahu dengan tegas menolak tuduhan ICC bahwa dirinya melakukan kejahatan perang di Gaza. Sementara itu, sejumlah menteri Israel juga mengecam keras keputusan ICC. Menteri Perhubungan Miri Regev menyebut surat penangkapan Netanyahu adalah semitisme modern yang berkedok keadilan. Baginya, Israel tidak bersalah karena berjuang melindungi rakyatnya. Adapun surat yang dikeluarkan ICC hari ini tak hanya mengharuskan Netanyahu ditangkap. Ex-Menteri Pertahanan Israel Yoav Gallant dan Komandan Militer Hamas Muhammad Dave juga masuk di dalamnya. Dave dianggap melakukan kejahatan kemanusiaan dan kejahatan perang di Israel dan Palestina. Kejahatan yang dimaksud seperti penembakan roket ke Israel pada Oktober tahun lalu yang menewaskan 1139 warga Zionis. The anti-Semitic decision of the International Court in The Hague is a modern Dreyfus trial, and it will end the same way. 130 years ago, the French Jewish officer Alfred Dreyfus was falsely accused of treason by a biased French court. In response to these false accusations, the great French writer Emile Zola wrote his monumental essay, J'accuse. He accused the French court of anti-Semitic lies against an innocent officer who was later exonerated of all guilt. Now an international court in The Hague, also headed by a French judge, is repeating this outrageous offense. It is falsely accusing me, the democratically elected prime minister of the state of Israel, and Israel's former defense minister, Yoav Gallant, of deliberately targeting civilians. This when we do everything in our power to avoid civilian casualties. We issue millions of text messages, phone calls, leaflets to the citizens of Gaza to get them out of harm's way, while the Hamas terrorists do everything in their power to keep them in harm's way, including shooting them, using them as human shields. The court in The Hague accuses us of a deliberate policy of starvation. This one we've supplied Gaza with 700,000 tons of food to feed the people of Gaza. That's 3,200 calories for every man, woman, and child in Gaza. And these supplies are routinely looted by Hamas terrorists who deprive their people of much needed food. Israel does not, Israel will not recognize the validity of this decision. We will continue to do everything we must do to defend our citizens and defend our state against Iran's axis of terror. Iran and its terrorist proxies, which include Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and others. Our enemies are your enemies, and our victory will be your victory, the victory of civilization over barbarism and tyranny. Download Tribune X sekarang, menghadirkan lokal menjadi Indonesia.